Hi, uh, my name is Twinkle Kumar Patel and uh, I'm recording this um, for the exercise which I have done. Um, here is the solution layout. I have done this in Visual Studio. So here is the solution. Uh, I just go through the code. So and I will also upload this code so that we have some understanding of the code. Uh, this is a normal person class which is simple of model to you know, store the ID of the person and the friend ID of that person. As it was mentioning, uh, there is a social network service class and that class uh, is basically um, giving three different functionalities to finding the friends, add a person and add friend. So what I am doing is using a list uh, of persons uh, and then basically uh, populating uh, basically defining those list of persons by add person and add friend so somebody is calling add friend just create a person uh, with empty because then there is a no uh, friend for just a person and for the friend we use person ID and the friend ID and just populate that person into social network so and when somebody call the find friends um, and give a person ID we'll just uh, do a query uh, and then re it will return the uh, enumerable strings means a list of friends for the, that particular person so that is a simple network service uh, we can replace this with the actual call to the TTP service now uh, the next the main part is this uh, friend finder so this friend finder class um, where we inject the dependency of social network service here uh, uh, social network services here uh, we are also defining uh, three different variables one is for maximum degree of separation so when the function get called uh, and we want to check whether the relationship is between that uh, less or equal than that maximum degree of separation so just taking a class level variable and as the algorithm what we are going through is we will start from left and right both side and increment one one step at a time and then find a set and match that uh, and that's a simple algorithm we are using so we have we have two different left side friendships and right side friendships uh, that are two different dictionaries uh, dictionaries are almost same as like in java we have a hash map and yeah, there's a dictionary in the c sharp so we can find an element in o one time here is nothing but uh, just uh, instantiating uh, these two different uh, dictionaries and the, this function called find sort as path where we have person a and person z and the degree of separation so what we are doing we are going to return the list of strings uh, so i'm just uh, creating one list of strings uh, final list which will be returned uh, assigning a maximum degree of separation and then adding our person a with null because now this this friend is nothing but a, with a parent so if a is not associated with anybody a is our end point last point then there is null and same with the z so we are like a both ends and uh, this is the main function which is a recursive call which will find uh, one by one increasing the degree and finding if there's a link between those two persons so I go to the has match you will see here that two dictionary left side friends and right side friends and the degree that's what we are passing um, we have to what we have to return is the matches between those two so here is a simple code uh, where we go in the, this one set of friends and for each friend we are checking if that the key means the ID for that particular person is found or not and then um, we traverse we, we basically loop through all the friends and see if that's friends find another set of and the right and the uh, right friends so for all left we find try to find on right if we find then just we add that person uh, key the key and value and add into a return match if uh, degree is more than two because if one degree we don't need the second match if degree is more than two then we also need a link on the right side 
So we add that too also and the return matches. And finally we return the matches. So this is the breaking point for the our recursive call. And this is a call which is make a recursive call to the hash match. Here we are just checking if it doesn't surpass the degrees which we required to uh, check. Now uh, to go alternative we just uh, take a simple uh, modular if, uh, we'll start from the first degree from the left so we just see if the degree uh, is uh, on the left side we just call what we do we get all the next level friends for that particular uh, all the friends from from the left so when the starting point a um, we get all the friends of a and then we populate to our master list and then just call has match again and if it is a odd basically on the right side we do the same thing we get the friends all the friends for the first degree friends from the right then and this will go on until we find or break on the maximum degree. this is a simple function to get next degree function which we'll use where we use our social network service to find the friends and create a uh, friends into friendship so basically we are using this uh, some private small functions to create a dictionary for key and pair uh, key pair values and this is to add to the master list from this is a master and the new set which we are getting and that this is the final function to get the connectivity so when finally this call return links to friend what we do need is just to uh, build the final list so we just recursive make a recursive call and get the key uh, so the so value of value of a particular dictionary entry is a key for another for this previous or his mass or his friends friend and that's how i build it so that's the whole code here i will send you anyway in the uh, in the in the email and now the the program which is basically i was testing here you can see there is no connection uh, case one was first degree connection, uh, second degree, third degree, and fourth. So uh, let me explain here. So suppose we have person A and person Z. Now there is a the person A has friend B, and then B has more than one friend B1, B2, B3. Similarly, person A has C and and all C has C1, C2, C3. Person A has a D also, and that D has D1, D2, D3. On the right hand side. A Z has friends P Q R, but it is also a common D two, which is this one link between D two D two. So the so the end result which we need to find the shortest path is A to D to D two and to C. And this is just to a, a display nicely on the console application. So if I run uh, with a just one breakpoint here. So this is my breakpoint. We'll go through all the persons here and find the shortest path. So it will go here in the final shortest path, create maximum final list, left, right side, and then this has match should send me this to DD2 and ZD2. So with a common set, and then based from that, we'll just uh, search in our master list and then find our whole. And if you continue, you'll see. So now you can see a result from A to D to D to D Z. So, so that's it from uh, uh, the whole code I will send you. And then let me know. Thank you. Bye.